Hello and welcome back and uh, let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, a maps uh, and or map view uh, from MapKit was introduced um, into the world of SwiftUI uh, with the second version of uh, iOS 14. And creating basic maps is easy with SwiftUI. If you're looking for more, more powerful and customized map support, then you're better off uh, creating a version with the UI view representable and UI view controller representable classes. So map basically is defined inside the map get framework and we'll be importing the that framework uh, along with Swift UI in our examples to see how to use it. All right, so what I've done is I've created a simple project here and we're gonna start like, you know, creating some files so we can start building out our examples with this. So let's go ahead and start with um, basically a simple map view. We're gonna start with a region and are we going to start region without an annotation? So one of the initializers uh, in the map uh, takes a coordinate region binding as a parameter. And we will create uh, the region using a state property with coordinates to Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file here. And I'm going to basically start with a basics of maps okay just name it that and uh we are going to start with a uh, i import and we are also going to import map kit okay and uh, next thing we're going to do is that uh, we're going to create uh, a state variable so at state private war and we're going to create the, uh, we're going to call this one as region and this is going to be mk coordinate region type and uh, its center is going to be at the place where golden gate bridge is located so i'm going to paste the coordinates and uh, the way you can actually get the coordinates by simply going to maps.google.com so let me pull that up All right, so let me pull up google.com, uh, maps.google.com. And uh, you can simply go uh, and find Golden Gate Bridge, okay? And if you right click on it, the first thing you're gonna get is the coordinates, okay? So I'm gonna simply click on it and that'll actually copy the coordinate inside my clipboard. And the center is basically a type of cl location coordinate 2d which has latitude and longitude so i'm gonna simply paste latitude and longitude values that were copied from the google map and i'm gonna just replace it so first value is latitude second value is longitude now the latitude meters is uh are latitudinal meters is basically the distance how far uh like you know how much zoomed in or zoom out you want your map to be to be okay so we're gonna start with thousand and uh, we're gonna uh, like i'm gonna change this value to show you like you know how this makes a difference uh with this uh region created all we need to do is uh, simply use map view and inside the map view we're gonna take the coordinate region and we're gonna supply the coordinate uh, or the region binding value of the region into this okay and this will create the map uh, we'll actually ignore safe areas and gonna simply resume our uh, preview section okay so basically what's gonna happen is what we should see is a map uh, as soon as we run our simulator all right, so one more thing I want to make change is I want to make this to uh, change this to iPhone 13 Pro. And uh, let's go ahead and resume it one more time. And build is going to take uh, just a few uh, seconds. Uh, till the time, let me talk about the region. So region here is the region to show and is of type mk coordinate region. When user interacts with the map, uh, the region 
value is going to be updated that's why the value is of binding type okay so let me go ahead and re uh, play this and you're gonna see that our map is centered around golden gate and i can move around and as we are moving around the value of the region is changing okay so uh we can actually pan with this move uh, with this like you know map we can uh, zoom so if i zoom try to zoom out uh, i can zoom out so this is another view now let me show you like you know how this value makes a difference so let's change it to 100 okay and i'm gonna resume and uh, as soon as our map pulls up you can see how close we are we are like way up close to the bridge and you can see the streets and if i zoom out uh, you're gonna start seeing the map with like you know starting the end of the bridge and stuff um you can make it like you know a really high value like you know five thousand to uh, show the map a little bit more zoomed up like this so you can see uh, more sort of like you know neighboring cities view and uh, you can move around and see like you know more areas so depending upon your need uh, you may choose like you know however much you want to like you know zoom in or zoom out uh in my case uh, i found like you know a thousand to be good enough to show like you know the uh the place where we are trying to focus and we can obviously zoom in and out okay so that was uh, just creation of a basic map in the next video we're gonna talk about uh, the interaction modes for the map okay so i'll see you guys in the next video